Thank you very much. Um, look, let me begin by acknowledging my fellow researchers, uh, Priya Kurian and Raven Kretney, who are here, uh, and also Naomi Simmons and Pia Bennett. I'm talking about uh, participation in the Market to Estuary Restoration Initiative. And as we've heard, community participation is a key part of EBM. And why does participation matter? Well, democratic theory uh, tells us that it improves the quality of decisions by bringing a fuller range of perspectives to the table. Um, it, it improves legitimacy and buy-in, and, it, and it's more fair, it's more just. People have a right to be involved in decisions that affect them and their environment. And of course that's why consultation is a legal requirement in many environmental decision processes. Um, but a common criticism is that much consultation happens in a way that tends to follow the letter of the law, in anticipation of some kind of judicial review of a decision, rather than in terms of the spirit of the law. Now, the Markatu case seemed to be a situation where the spirit of the law was being followed in some meaningful way, delivering better decisions, more legitimate decisions, uh, and decisions with more community buy-in that would be socially as well as environmentally sustainable. So what happened at Makatu? Well, in 1956, flood and drainage works diverted the Kaituna River, which flows from the Rotorua Lakes, um, away from its natural river mouth, which flowed through the estuary. Um, so the estuary had been a local food basket. It was a relatively deep inshore harbour. Uh, and it has significant cultural importance as the landing place of the Te Arawa Waka. But without the flushing of the Kaituna, it became a tidal lagoon, filling with sediment uh, and uh, over time just becoming seriously degraded as an estuarine environment. Over the past four decades, there have been radically different views about the degradation, with the farming industry heavily invested in the catchment management system, but iwi and other community members demanding uh, that it be restored. Look, there have been petitions to Parliament, there have been central government inquiries, there have been much, there's been much science carried out, and in fact the whole planning process has been characterised by a high level of distrust and cynicism around the estuary. And it's against that difficult environment that the Bay of Plenty Regional Council uh, has embarked on an extensive consultation process to find common ground and resolve the issue. So it ran a consultation process over a three-year period and it has been successful in finding a common vision and a design to restore the estuary that parties can live with. So the consultation uh, has been seen as successful in more than just meeting the law and that's what we've been looking at in this case. So we reviewed a large archive of material, uh, we interviewed a wide range of participants to understand success in this situation. And look, one thing we're really clear of is that the planning process has been very much a political and social process rather than a science-led process and success can mean, uh, success is a slippery term within political environments. But for now though, a few points uh, that may seem obvious but are nonetheless important. And I've got one minute to go. Um, the legal requirement to consult, as has been said, is important. Um, with, it's, it's an important institutional driver, uh, without which the new ideas and new perspectives would not have been brought to this uh, planning situation. Knowing the community well and developing responsive, bespoke engagement strategies was central to bringing what were really antagonistic actors together in a common vision. Um, Recognising the benefits of including diverse ways of knowing was a factor. Um, it was more complicated, it was more costly, but it did uncover blind spots in the planning process and it did help manage inevitable uncertainty. Um, and doing all of this implied valuing non-science-based knowledges and moving away from a deficit model of public understanding. 
And so we've written a number of articles that have explored this on a more theoretical basis. Um, it's a really interesting case. Uh, Google Markitu Estuary Restoration uh, and uh, you'll find out more details about it. Thank you.